L- ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome to the Three Year Podcast once again. This is the host on a very staticky microphone, because computers, am I right? Uh, with me today, we've got Nicole as the co-host as usual. Hello, internet. We also have uh, Ryan, our confirmed guy. It is confirmed. How are you doing, guys? Uh, Max, I still have no title for you. <laughs> now semi-decent x Uh And then, of course, we also have uh, uh, Angel doing the, tw- uh, doing the Twitch stuff. Hello, everyone. And then also with us today, because, you know, I wanted to introduce her to everybody. Uh, you've heard me talk about her for, like, what, three weeks in a row now? Hi. Uh, so here's the girl I was telling you all about, uh, Shannon. You want, you want to go ahead and say something? <laughs> Hi. It's okay. We don't bite. <laughs> I just I waved at my I, I waved at my webcam and realized this wasn't a video, so I'm just more, don't worry about me. Guys, what is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Mm. Focus on something, all right. Yeah. So, as usual, we'll have links to the blog, channel, social media stuff in the description. Uh, we also have a new survey uh, that came out this past week to talk about stuff that we were trying to do on the channel, so check it out. We'll have a link for that, too. And uh, we're still working on getting the Patreon going. Uh, we're still at, like, 40% of what the people we need for it, so we need more subs, guys. Sub the channel. Do it. Make it happen. Nicole, you want to push that a little? Nicole, where'd you go? Oh, it's my stream. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, you like, guys don't realize on the internet is that Aaron is actually in a battle with Phantom Korra as we speak. Oh, uh, so did... Which is why he's... <laughs> which so is why we're not, we're not that's, hearing that's much fantastic. from him. <laughs> well, I just, I, all I said was there are links in the description to all the stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so oh, do you want to weekly check now? <laughs> Sure, why not? Who wants to start us off? Fucking internet. <laughs> I don't know. I had a pretty boring week. Played some Monster Hunter. Playing frog fractions. That's kind of it. I think, kind you've of lo- I, think, I think we've lost fractions at this point in the game. Yeah, no, there's still fractions. Currently in a court case. <laughs> Want to eat the judge. It's good times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much my week. Monster Hunter and now Frog Fractions. I've done pretty much nothing. Homework. Sounds like fun. Who's next? Ryan? Uh, not too much is uh, going crazy. I had my audition uh, last week. Uh, well, not last week. I had my audition last weekend. It went really, really well. Uh, I went to the Field Museum today and uh, did some research on a character that I'm going to be RPing in the near future. So that's going to be fun. He's going to be a voodoo priest. Kinda. Kinda? Kinda. So Nicole's reference to voodoo magic really was legit. Yes. (laughs) You want to tell us a little bit about him? Uh, I'm trying not to plan him out too far because that is one of my failings as a role player. I try to think of what it'll be like in the end. So I'm trying not to do that, but... <laughs> Good. Uh, at the moment, uh, he's going. He's a... Uh, what you call it? He's more like a... Um, you know, this street kid from, uh, from Louisiana. Uh... Half a half a Asian, and he teams up with uh, a group of other young people to uh, hunt monsters. What they don't know is that he may or may not be possessed by a voodoo spirit. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun times. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like so that's my week. <laughs> that's a classic right there. I can't wait to see it. 
Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure it will be the best of times. It will. <laughs> or the worst of times. But probably the best of times. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, Max, uh, how's your week been? Yeah, it's been slow. Uh, I heard Angel called a girl today, so that was interesting. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Yeah, my, my friends watch the podcast, and I walk home with them every day, and they're like, and they said, so Angel, uh, and they talked, and they were talking, and they kept using she. Oh, yeah, and I'll tell you. Don't worry about it. So Angel, I guess you're a girl now. <laughs> It's kind of used to it at this point. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, other than that, I started a uh, Half-Life game on this week. Hmm. And oh, I'm cool. in the middle of editing that still. So, so, so Max, when's that going to be uploaded? 2,000 years. Okay, well, it, it'll be up before right. Half-Life 3. We know that much, right? Damn. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But now you're semi decent at Smash now, and so horrible. I got to rob. Oh, are you beating Dark Pit? Uh, I finally did. Who, who'd you beat him good, with? Good. Was it Ganondorf? Uh, <laughs> no, Link. Jeez. No, no, you can't use Link. Stop using Link. Do Ganondorf. It's the only one that matters. Oh, so <laughs> bad. Uh, other than that, I think that's basically my week. Oh. Aaron, you want to go ahead with your, your week? Um, I guess I can go ahead and talk my week. Uh, what did I even mention last time? I don't remember. Um, we, you we were talking about strippers. strippers. We, I, oh, yeah, we did talk about strippers in the movie theater. I remember that much. Um, what happened since Oh, yeah, that was a great one. That was a great story. I loved it. Um, <laughs> Oops. Uh, since then, it's actually been a really boring week for the most part. Um, Work-wise, like, nothing really weird's been going on other than our hours are getting cut, so... Yay? Free time? Question mark? I don't know. Um, <laughs> other than that, I've been gaming and writing and uh, hanging out with Shannon here for the most part, so... Yeah, that's sort of been my week for the most part. It's actually been the less eventful week I've had recently. Still fun, but less eventful. What have you been playing? Uh, still playing a lot of XCOM, because that game is really hard to put down. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, I just got to the point now where I have enough satellites for half the world. I just didn't get satellites for the other half of the world. Mm. Hey, nice. progress. Something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> progress. Um, did you want to talk about your week at all? No? You want to, you want to, talk, to introduce yourself to people? <laughs> what do you want me to say? Well, just, just say, hey, like, you know, this is no. what my week's been like. It's kind of... Yeah, does anything you want to talk about? Go ahead and bring that. Well, they cut my hours at. That's shitty. Yeah, they cut your hours too. <laughs> um, and I stayed over here s Sunday. Yeah. And. Was there a different day? Nah, that was just Sunday. Oh, yeah, it was just Sunday. KK. KK? Yeah. That's kind of, that's kind of been our week for the most part. So exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really Nicole, lost, guys. Nicole, bring the excitement. What happened during your week? <clears throat> uh, I saw the first episode of Better Call Saul. About time. Damn Man, it. I still need to do it. I God like, damn it, Ryan. I reminded you, too. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. So, so Nicole, is it, worth, is it worth the hype? Did I, did I hype it up enough or too much? It is worth the hype. That, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> yeah, wait till you get to, I think they just did episode four this past week. Damn, that was... Yeah. That was dark. I did not expect it to get go there that quick, but it's there. Damn. They have to bring it on now. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I've just seen the first episode so far. I'm probably going to watch the other ones either tomorrow or Friday, depending on what else I'm doing those days. But I've pretty much just been watching some animus, YouTubes. I've been playing around with some recording stuff. For a future project that Aaron and I will be doing. Future project? I don't know about that. 
Oh, well, you agreed to it. Spooky. All right, I did agree in future projects. Okay, Uh-oh. yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Do you know what we're recording? Because I have no idea. <clears throat> hmm? Do you, what are we recording? I have no idea. Oh, I know. Oh, you, don't you yeah, worry about it. Tell me, are you? Don't. Don't, don't you what I found, Aaron. Dang it. If I tell you, it'll just ruin the surprise for everybody. Okay, as long as it's Jimmy Chunk, I'm fine, but if there's not, I'm going to be disappointed. Oh, well, mm, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> should I get sent for disappointment? <laughs> just should I know that now? No. No, no disappointment? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm expecting Jimmy <laughs> Chunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get him to you. Yeah, I don't know how either. You're kind of like a state and a half away, so... So yeah, I've been doing that, and then I've also been doing some character work on the character I'm going to be playing in our newest campaign. All right, you talked about that, uh, the fox you were mentioning earlier? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so did you ever set down a name for that thing? No, I haven't decided on a name yet, um, but pretty much the character that I'm going to be playing in our campaign is a spirit fox from Japan, and it's set in the Victorian era, so westernization in Japan has just started. So once that happens, she comes over to Europe to start exploring and seeing the world instead of just being, um, being in the forest and the mountains that she's seen before. And one of her special powers is that she can possess people. So one of the main things she does is she possesses people and lives as their lives because she finds humans just so interesting. Not sure why humans aren't all that interested, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, some of them are. Yeah, the, 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 the few, the proud. <laughs> the Marines. Hey, Thank you, you, man. you finished the joke. Way to go. <laughs> no problems. So yeah, that, that's been my week. Radical, well, should we, I guess, move on to the news topics then? In this very awkward yeah. transition. <laughs> but are we still playing frogs? Frog fractions? Yeah. Uh, I'm going. Yep. It's become a text-based adventure. <laughs> We're in a text-based adventure now. Don't Angel, worry. What the, hell <laughs> what, sm- what the hell are you making a smoke here? I have no idea. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The game's amazing. <laughs> uh, I'm starting uh, to worry... A little bit more because when was the last time we actually saw a fraction? Yeah, serious. <laughs> like, like for real, for real. The court case. The court case was. Well, what? The last well, time I'm sorry. There's a command module on my screen now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Aaron, you want to take us <laughs> into our first story? Space adventure. Yeah. Okay. So speaking of text-based, be, be, text-based adventures, guys. Uh, so this first news article we got. Uh, you know, Telltale Games, the guys who make uh, the Walking Dead game. Uh, well, mm-hmm. Among Us, all those fun ones we talked about before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they're teaming up with that movie studio, Lionsgate, to make a TV game show kind of thing. It's going to be a show that interacts with, the, with their, their next game coming out. All original content, too. What? Yeah, I really that don't understand really cool. what it's going to be, but it, pretty much you play the game that goes alongside the TV show, and apparently you can influence the events of the show, or vice versa. Okay, okay, all right. I mean, color me interested, but I want to know some details first. Yeah, yeah, no, color me interested. Um, They have my attention. Well, I mean, yeah, it's telltale. I mean, well, 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 they don't expect anything bad from them at this point. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then there's uh, the next bit of news here. We We have very short bits of news, just so you know. Um... Next bit of news. Uh, so you guys remember GTA V at all? That game? You ever heard of it? I, I played it last night. Oh, nice. Well, I'm assuming you're playing it on PC because that's not coming out again until April. It's been pushed back another month. Dang. <laughs> yep. So that's, that's great. Really? Uh, well, I don't mind because, I mean, I'd rather have the game look nice than... Yeah, but I mean, you know, but I mean, how many months has it been now that they keep delaying it? Like, I think this is like what the sixth months now. So you should just face it; you're never getting this game. It's, it's. I'm never getting this game. It, I, I'm looking at it I'm like it's there, but it's not happening. So no. Look, GTA Five for the PC will be bundled with Half Life Three if that tells you anything. <laughs> mm, probably. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 
Um, GTA 5 yeah. will come out. It's going to happen. Don't but, worry. But, but this next bit of news, it wasn't delayed. It's actually been confirmed finally. So mm-hmm. I don't think we mentioned it on the podcast before because Nicole vetoed putting this on the list. So uh, a few weeks ago there was a rumor that Neil Blomkamp, the guy who did uh, District 9 and uh, the other one, the Elysium, uh, there were rumors that he might do an alien movie at some point. Like he's working on one. And uh, they were just rumors that he said that, that it wasn't true. So it was confirmed this past week that apparently, yes, he will be making an alien movie. I'm um, down for that. I am. I appreciate this work. Yeah, I mean, so far he's made it. pretty fun film, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with this one. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I think I like uh, I like District 9 better than I like Elysium. I'm kind of and I'm not, not sure how... how I'm I not sure how I feel about that show that teleapproach. What's that? I kind of the other way around. I really appreciated Elysium's show don't tell approach. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I I'm not saying that Elysium was bad. Oh, I no, did no, like no, Elysium. Anyway, anyway. I just really liked District 9. <laughs> <laughs> District 9 was my shit. So it was really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, underrated movie, I think. Even though it was rated pretty highly, I think it should have been rated title. Yeah. Plus, I think uh, at least it was like the first Matt Damon movie in a long time I've seen where it's like, you know what? I forgot how good an actor he was. <laughs> um, speaking of aliens, though, uh, so remember last week we talked about Invader Zim getting a comic <laughs> coming back? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, it was pretty so, high. Yep, so uh, we got an update on that news. July 1st is when it will be released. Ooh, nice. Yep, July so, uh, 1st. Nothing major there, just, you know, release date, finally confirmed, so, yay. Ooh. The return Ooh. of the insane alien will be back on July, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. And then this next sec- segment, the whole news bit that Nicole threw me, Nicole, what, 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 50 Shades of News, what the hell are we talking about here? Oh, no. oh. <laughs> you know what? I was hoping uh, that this would. This, please. I was, I was hoping that this was going to be over the week it came out. But <laughs> are we going to talk about it next week? Can we just like put this in the in everything for next week too? Because I'm. Let's face it. We're going to be talking about it next week too. <laughs> I don't know why she's pushing so hard for this. She didn't even see the movie. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but just the news that I found of people who have seen it is just hilarious, and I feel I should share this with you guys. Tell, tell us, Lord. Lord. We're curious. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to lie. I'm not curious. <laughs> it, it'll be okay, Max. Well, well, Max, let me ask you this. Are you more interested in hearing these funny bits of news or hearing these guys talk about Monster Hunter again for another hour? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can talk about Monster Hunter. Well, here's the thing. If they talk about Monster Hunter, I don't care. I'm playing Half-Life 2 right now. Uh-huh. I'm entertained if they decide to talk about Monster Hunter for another hour. <laughs> we can totally talk about Monster Hunter for another hour. Well, don't tempt us. Don't tempt did. them. Maybe I should start playing Monster Hunter. I'm so far behind you guys. <laughs> Dang it, I didn't mean to start this. God damn it, Max. Still in the cat island. What the fuck am I doing? Jeez. I know. So. Anyway, the actor who who plays um, I don't don't even know his name. I don't care. The the main dude. So the the actor's name is Jamie Dornan. The guy who died. Yeah. And rumors were that he was leaving the films. He was not coming back. He was gonna redeem himself (laughs) and not carry on with the sequels. (laughs) Okay. He, he was going to get out while he could. The reasoning oh, so for this, there, there were two reasons that I found. One was that he was filming some of Anarchy along with some other projects. So he just he couldn't be bothered. Another version of the story I found is because his wife, who has not seen the movie, was very uncomfortable with the sex scenes. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> you, you, you don't say. But of course, as soon as I read that, I thought, you know, your husband comes home one night and he says, honey, I got this, I got this role in the movie. And she's like, okay, what is it? Fifty Shades of Grey. You're telling me 
that she did not know what he was signing up for. Uh, she must have been living under a rock. Clearly. Uh, maybe. I mean, there's some people who really never heard of the book before. I mean, I'm not going to fault her for maybe that she, Or maybe she thought he was joking, like I thought they were actually joking when somebody said that they were making this movie. That's a fair point. Uh, again, yeah. this is the man's wife. <laughs> Th things will be told, and sh she knew what she was getting into here. <laughs> well, I mean, even if she didn't read the book, she could have Google searched and be like, oh, yeah, no, you're not going to be in this movie. Right. But no, she, she decides to wait until afterwards, but so I was alas. Curious. I'm curious. <clears throat> Does anyone know if this character is in the later books? And if so, how are they going to even possibly hide the fact of changing actors? Well, he, the, the character that he plays is like the main guy. He is in all of the books. You know, it's called Fifty Shades of Grey. The guy's last name is Grey, I believe. Yeah, sure. It's supposed to be some clever pun. <clears throat> it's not. It's, it's really not. It's not, but... But some horrible, horrible news about that. He has confirmed that, no, the, these rumors are not true. He will, in fact, be in the sequels. No! Oh. Dang it, I... And his whole life! I, I feel so sorry for this man. He, he almost got out. I had some hope that maybe this would so did the I. down. He's probably like, this made enough money for me to reasonably come back for this, so sure, I'll come back for this. You know who I blame for this? I, I blame his wife. She wanted that extra money. <laughs> <laughs> so, so damned if she does and damned if she doesn't, I guess. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm calling her out right now. She, this is her fault. It's all her fault. I'm sure. I'm sure they had him locked in for all the movies when he agreed to do. No, one. nope. I'm blaming her. We have. I mean, you have the right to blame her. I, I don't know. I, I think. I think Ryan's under something. I mean, we, we, this, it's probably a contractual thing. You're dying. I mean, it's fine. You, you guys enjoying this text-based adventure right now? No. No. Oh, I've been playing. <laughs> I've been playing. Okay, I've been playing Half-Life. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> uh, Nicole, were there, were there any other bits of news you need to go over? Oh, there, there were fine. tons. Of, I, I just there are tons answers. of news. Oh, Christ. There, there are tons of news. I in fact have five more tabs open. Oh no. Mm. So. Okay, uh, I, I have a question before we move on. Yes. Do any of them involve Fifty Shades of Grey? Why, of course. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> because the Only has to like, keep this keep this train wreck going. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, screenings for this movie have been out of control, as Aaron has said. There's strippers in the theaters, but also in Mexico, a woman got arrested for masturbating in the theater. Oh, because people, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. I'm not listening. I'm putting it back. 33 years old and old enough to fucking know better. Apparently, that's not. actually what the article says. <laughs> huh? That's actually what the article says. <laughs> old enough to know better. Yep. <laughs> I like that. That's, that's, that's good wording on the writer. Mm -hmm. All right, and. A University of Illinois student was actually arrested for sexual assault after he had seen the movie trying to reenact scenes from it. Oh no. Wow. I live only so many minutes away from okay. yeah. Well yeah, because he, you know he tried he tried he tried I'm sure he tried to actually, you know, uh, recreate some shit without asking permission first, like the guy in the movie. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure he's yeah. not... So, yeah, he's accurate on that part. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's just he... didn't go out good for him because he's not a million. Why did, why, did, why did this crap get closer and closer to me? First it was in, like, freaking Iowa. <laughs> now it's in Illinois. Not yep. just in Illinois, just a couple minutes away from me. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt. Okay, let's be honest. You live in Chicago, right? Yeah. yeah. I live way closer to you by like 20 minutes. 
So that means that I need to stop this. I need to. <laughs> I need to get off of the podcast. Max, you need to get off this podcast and start a crusade against Fifty Shades of Grey. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Max is going to wage war on this movie. You know what? Let's all rage on this crusade. He'll lose super hard. I think I'll let you guys. I'm just going to sit out and watch you guys just cause havoc. It'll be hilarious. (laughs) Don't expect me to belly out, though. I don't think I'm going to do that. You're not? Nah. Uh-huh. If you guys are doing something like for like a, a legitimate cause, maybe, but it's just a movie. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna bail you out for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna bail Nicole out for having lost her mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Mm-hmm. But as if a woman masturbating in the theaters wasn't enough. Oh, there's a man. more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> if you call the next five minutes. <laughs> Okay, can we give me like five minutes before moving on to the okay, break? And you like, Brian, look, bugs are happening again. What? Well, I was there. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? What? There are no bugs. <laughs> what? Are bugs happening again. Bugs. Oh. But anyway. Oh. A like... man was attacked by three drunken women what? in a theater. What am I looking at? So basically, the the inverse of the last story you read. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were all in the theater watching the movie, and the women were being drunk and rowdy, and he had asked them to quiet down. And they attacked him with a broken wine bottle. Wow! And they were all arrested. Luckily, this guy wasn't hurt. Just just some cuts, but that was about it. So so, this is a little warning Mm -hmm. to the gentlemen out there. Don't go see Fifty Shades of Grey. Just stay away. Just, <laughs> Just stay away. away. Just don't do I'm it. Gonna, <laughs> <laughs> that usually works for people. It, it, it sounds like it's hazardous to your health, apparently. You want to know why else you shouldn't go see this movie in the theaters, or There's probably any else. movie in the theaters right now while this is out. Because a hundred teenagers will will bum-rush the theater because they aren't allowed in to see Fifty Shades of Grey. Why would they want to? I'm sorry, what? Mm-hmm. A group of a hundred teens rushed this theater because they weren't allowed to see the movie since it's rated R. And they were not of age. Wow. Yeah, and? <laughs> that makes me sad, man. Yeah, that, that makes me sad and... There are more interesting R-rated movies they could be protesting about. I'm really this right. one. <laughs> Just get good, Angel. I mean, if it's about sex, it's really bad. Really bad. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, there's cheaper, more efficient ways to get that. Right. Okay, I need to ask something. I've been playing. For anyone right. confused, I'm currently running. I'm running for president right now by playing DDR. Mm-hmm. Angel, so, I think you're tripping here. I'm running for a uh, president of Bug Mars, and the election is the best at the year. Yep. So, we're still yep. on Frog Track. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because Frog Track. I became president. Because I'm the best dancer. Because bugs can't dance. Mm-hmm. Well, what about bees? They dance. I am the president. I don't know if I could cry and well, laugh at both at the same time. Alright? <clears throat> I'm frog. Frog's cool. <laughs> Truth be told, I, I, I have to change for a dance for her. Don't hate. So, so Nicole, <laughs> please, please tell me we're out of Fifty Shades of News. Should things are about to get worse? Crazy. Yes, we, we are out of all the Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, that's yeah. it for the podcast this week, guys. I mean, we have our weekly <laughs> Fifty Shades of Freaking Grey. Can we, like, never talk about Fifty Shades of Grey again? I, that's up to the cold at this point. I, I'm done. I'm done. Well, the cold. I mean, yeah. I already almost had a mental breakdown last weekend. Last week. Mm-hmm. Do we really need to give me any more? I mean, let's be reasonable here. Well, I mean, you did lose your mind watching Frog Fractions, so 
You know, you know, Max. I have a, I have a sinking suspicion that she just enjoys hearing you lose your mind. I think that's it. I really think that's it. Brian, why have I be giving out my secrets? Because I live with them for how many years? <laughs> <laughs> I am not gonna let you kill this man. Just, just toying with him. Save yourself. Get out. Good, good, good guy Ryan looking out for Max there. All right, good guy Ryan. Just ruining all my fun. Yes. Where am I going? I have. So I guess I'm sorry. Are we talking about bug porn on this on this game? Yes. Oh, wait a second. What? Is that a yes to me or a yes to As whatever the president. Ryan's saying? Um, a, a yes, yes to, to both. Okay. Uh, so, Nicole, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm tired of this. My, my bug-based economy is based do? on bug porn. You want to do, Nicole? What's happening? What? An Angel's talking about bug porn. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll let him talk about his bugs real quick. All right. Angel, what's going on with, with your bugs? Uh, well, on my bug porn industry failed, so I'm just gonna print several billion. I'm just gonna print several billion sorkmids, and it'll be okay. <laughs> Will it really? We'll have my I successor worry about inflation problems. It's okay. We won't worry about it. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, look at all these orkmids. <laughs> oh crap! Hey, Angel, since you're president, you're like president of the. So what's planet, next on the you docket? Do? You know what we should do, Angel? Huh. You should totally... What should I do? You, you should totally try to get everyone on that planet to invest in Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Dollar Shave don't... Club? What's that? Well, no, like, for only a few dollars a month, you too can go on the internet and get razors sent to your house for a very cheap price. All you gotta do is just go to dollarshaveclub.com slash evac station. Whoa. Whoa, Aaron, this sounds like some straight witchcraft you're talking about. It's, it's probably more like voodoo, I, actually, I would say. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I would know. I can confirm. <laughs> can confirm. Dollar with Dollar Shave Club is voodoo. Razor sent to my house? What? Yeah, razor sent to your house. You can go one, uh, once every month, or you can go once every other month. It really depends on how frequent you need them. A, I mean, a you plan that I just to like my life? Razor every single day. It's, it's ridiculous. What? I know, right? That, that's some voodoo right there. But hey, I mean, if you need them to repeat it again, it's uh, dollarshaveclub.com slash evac station. Only a few bucks a month. You can shave some time and shave some money. Just get I mean, their stuff right there. Mm -hmm. I have a new news story. Uh, Angel live stream died. Yeah, yeah I'm getting it back up. Don't worry uh, about it. Probably because they were trying to go out and get their uh, razors. Yeah. It's also, I mean, to handle the savings. <laughs> that, was a good, that, was a, that was a good... Good way to introduce Dollar Shave Club. I usually want to give you crap about introducing <laughs> Dollar Shave Club. Hey, hey, I, I, I try to be creative with it, you know? Mm -hmm. So what was your inspiration for that joke? Um, as soon as he became president, I'm like, I gotta do something with the, with the ad read. And I, when he said that, I'm like, okay, I can do something with that. I just have to figure out how. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to make a biography about you. Now. <laughs> Nice, nice. Can, can we can we title it? Can we title it? Ra Three dollar razors a month. Sure. Uh, yeah. Do you want it to be an autobiography, or do you want to, or do you just want me to write it? Uh, either one. Just make sure you make up lies about how I saved the planet from like destruction or something. It'd be great. Oh yeah, that that was already planned. Mm -hmm. Nice. <clears throat> if you read the contract completely, you'd see. <laughs> oh, there's a contract now. Okay, I, I, I was not aware of this. Mm -hmm. You think I'm joking, punk? <laughs> Max shows his true colors. <laughs> He's finally gone mad. Like a hatter. See what you've done, Nicole. I've done good work this day. So, so Nicole, have you told these guys that are, what our large segment is going to be for the rest of the podcast? I did. Whether or not they listen to me is a whole different matter. Okay. Well, for those who are not aware, or those who are listening, assuming the stream comes back up. Uh, the Oscars was this past weekend, and like I most Americans who had better okay. things to do, we didn't watch the Oscars. <laughs> what? This I, is very true. Sure. Mm -hmm. True facts. I, I find I find it's it boring like, to watch <laughs> other people get other get rewards that I can't get. It. <laughs> um, and on top of that, too, among, among the fact we didn't watch it, 
We also probably didn't watch most of the winners of the actual awards themselves. Which winner? So, <laughs> so Nicole and I decided to have some fun. We're going to have our own little award segment right here, make our nominations, and then next week we'll probably announce the winners if we feel like it. Oh, hey, that's cool. Uh-huh. So, I, so I think Nicole was supposed to go around and tell everyone, hey, come up with nominations or die. Mm-hmm. I was not. I did not get that. Yes, right. I, t- I texted I to you, Ryan. I did not get the nominations part. Um, Nicole I'm disappointed in you, Ryan. <laughs> I was told to die, but not by Nicole. And uh, <laughs> Ryan, I'm very disappointed in you. It's not my fault you didn't tell me to come up with nominations. I texted to you. It's you not said my fault we were you gonna never do respond. something. You said we were going to do something like the Oscars. I said, "Oh, that would be cool." And that yeah, was that, the end of that. Then I sent you the nominations, and you just never respond to text. So I figured, oh, he probably got it, because, you know, you he never responds. You probably sent text and just showed up blank or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, done. No, dwarfed it up. Oh, uh, hey, hey, man. Too. <laughs> yeah, done. Goofed. <laughs> Rick. No, you do. Damn it, Ryan. You had one job. Right? It's not my fault. Someone's on my side here. Um, I also just noticed something. Yeah. There has been a severe lack of... That's the end of the practice, everyone. I became president. <laughs> Fresh the economy. Good times. Good times. So, uh, Nicole, what's the first category you want to hit up exactly? So I got like 10 here. Y- yeah, we, we made a lot. We made a lot. Mm-hmm. And then we got rid of the nominees because we wanted everyone to participate. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. well, then it was too much work for us. Yeah, it was too much work for the two of us. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, so, what's our first category? Well, wow, you should ask for help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing that right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, the first category we have is best picture. Best picture. So, like, just movie in general for, and we're just doing 2014, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, make sure we're on the same page. Uh, so, everyone, what, 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 what would you say your best picture of the year is? Um, oh, I know this one. Did Guardians of the Galaxy come out 2014? Yes. It did come out in 2014. Okay, then, yeah, I'm definitely nominating Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, uh, anyone else got a nomination? Mine is also Guardians of the Galaxy. Does anyone have a different nomination? <laughs> I can come uh, up with a different gonna... nomination. Just give me a few minutes. <laughs> I'm going to go on ahead and uh, nominate uh, Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Because <laughs> that was my shit. I love it. Good one. Okay, I feel I'm like... Gonna, I'm going to go ahead and throw the wild card in there because you guys are making, they're just doing Marvel movies and oh, that's okay. fine. It's perfectly fine. They're good movies. Uh, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go with Gone Girl. That's a good movie. Gone Girl was good, but it was not as good as the book. <laughs> I just have to I'm be the resident go. book nerd and say that. So go ahead. Now I'm we gonna go with something out. really out there and say Boyhood. That movie yeah. was amazing. Fair point. I will. I will let you throw that in there. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't I think we have enough. Deserves to win, but it deserves a mention for sure. I'm actually gonna write oh, these down so I don't forget for next week, so we actually <laughs> know what the poll's gonna have on it. <laughs> Aaron, I already took care of that. Oh, you're writing down already? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then I don't have to do work. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid you do work. Yeah. Fuck that. I don't want to do work. <laughs> so, so I paid for all fractions. Uh, the dream. I, I, don't, I don't think there's enough nominations for pictures. So um, this didn't come out in 2014, but I'm still going to nominate it for Demic. <laughs> really? For Demic? Yeah. So, you know what? I even rented really? it, watched it, and wanted to kill myself. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's right. see. What else? What else? Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll give you uh, the Lego movie. Okay, yeah, that was my turn. Oh, I was so interested. And oh, yeah, I got one more nomination over here. Uh-huh. Uh, Shannon's throwing out uh, Fault in Our Stars. All right. Hmm. I think I've heard of that one. What is that about? I don't, I don't remember. It's a uh, it's an it's a uh, movie adaptation of John Green's uh, book. Uh, it's the same title, uh, but it's uh, it's about a uh, cancer survivor, 
kind of uh, yeah, cancer survivor that's uh, that, fa- that falls in love with another cancer survivor, and they find out that life is really beautiful, even though it's bleeding. It's really good. I'm I'm not doing it justice in the slightest, but it's really good. It's a very good story. Huh. All right. Yep. <clears throat> Sound like all good movies except for Birdemic. <laughs> Wait, I, I must have missed it. Did someone actually nominate Birdemic? Birdemic. Yeah, Max. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, do we have, are, are, are there any more, uh, are there any more space up? for, are there more space for more of these? I, I feel like we should just have one nomination per person, I think. Keep yeah. it simple. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll stick to Captain America. That was good. That was very good. Uh, I'm yeah. sticking with Guardians. What's, what's, what's your backup plan? Actually, you know what? Um, Nicole, you can have Guardians. I'm going to stick with Birdemic, personally. <laughs> Max, you're fired. <laughs> hey, hey, at least he didn't nominate Spider-Man 2. I mean, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 2 was not great. No. No, it wasn't. You know what? Out of spite, <clears throat> skip for Demic, Spider-Man 2. Damn you. You bastard. <laughs> Max, you're fired. Turn in your badge. Clean out your desk. I had a badge and I had a desk. What? <laughs> well, t- turn in your badge and leave your desk or whatever. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on a couch right now. Turn, with turn that in well, Apple. Well, turn in your couch. I'm, I'm on a, I mean, I don't have a desk. I have a couch, a table, a PS4, and a capture card. Yep, turn all that in. We're gonna turn it all in. It's all, it's all, it's all done. Yeah. Turn in your PS4 or that. It's all company turn property. Didn't, yep. didn't you read the fine print? <laughs> I didn't get a contract. Yes, Once did. again... No, I didn't. People, people, of course, people came to my home and held a gun to my head and told me to make videos. Those are lies and stipulations of accepting the Skype call that you also accepted the contract. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, So, Nicole, what's our next category? Our next category is best glitch. Okay, best glitch. Uh, AC Unity. (laughs) <laughs> I, I, I was also going to nominate that, so I'll just stick with yeah, that. Yeah, face melting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we can call yeah, that face right melting here. is the best. It's so good. So we're just going to leave that award as it is then? So our, so our nominees for that are AC Unity, AC Unity, AC Unity, and AC Unity. I, I wonder who's going to win. Wait, you know what? I, I, I have another glitch. Um, so you guys remember back in Pokemon Yellow? There was, or Pokemon Red and Blue, that Mew glitch where you could run around and get Mew somehow. Mm-hmm. Okay, so hear me out. There's a glitch for Smash Brothers. And basically, it's how you get Mewtwo. You have, to mm-hmm. have both, you have to have both copies of the game, go to a website and put in your information, and then eventually, if you do enough stuff in the game, it will eventually come out. No one's proven this yet because it hasn't come out yet. But the glitch is there. I swear it is. Um, God. Well, I feel like I feel like I need to come up with the numbers. DLCs aren't glitches. Shh. Shh. It's so a I feel like it's a secret. I feel like uh, AC Unity should also have some competition. So I'm just going to throw in uh, Battlefield Four's uh, netcode because I actually did buy the game when it came out. It was the worst thing ever. Actually, you guys yeah. are forgetting the Master Chief Collection online bugger. I don't know on the Xbox. It still doesn't work now. It still doesn't work, that's now. true. So, so the list I guess we have would be... So much static. We'd have AC Unity, uh, Smash Bros, and then uh, whatever this is, uh, Master Chief Collection, right? Yeah. yeah. And Battlefield 4. And Battlefield 4. Okay, we got four. We can, we can work with that. Mm-hmm. All right, our next category, Best Shaky Cam. Best Shaky Cam. Project Omanac. That was a 2015 movie, we can't count Damn that. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> um, that is the of, Shaky Cam movie. There weren't a lot of actual Shaky Cam movies, actually. Actually, I'm trying to think back to 2014. I can't remember anything with excessively shaky cameras. My I guess, guess is going to be Hunger Games, but I didn't see it. I remember the um, first one had a really bad shaky cam. I yeah, the real the first yeah. one had a super shaky cam. I heard the I second one was just like better, better in almost better. every way. Yeah. Hello. Well, I heard, yeah, I, well, I heard that there was going to be a Blair Witch Project 2, so... But that's not out yet, though. We can't count that one. 
Yeah, but there's not enough nominations, so therefore, I my argument is that we should just come up with random crap. <laughs> no, you know what? That, like, like we always do. Actually, be made for Project Almanac. So yeah. All right, fine. We'll include Project Almanac. Yes. I don't know why we won it. It's, it's squeaked by just a little bit. Yeah, it's squeaked by. So good. Well, that's the only nomination because people through some sentence stopped liking shaky camera crap. <laughs> Thank God. All right. Uh, it'll, it'll be back. It, it's going to make, a, it's gonna make a, its roundabouts. Mm -hmm. If you want me to, I can, go, <clears throat> I can go to Amazon Instant Video and find like some stupid indie movie that has a shaky cam. We just put down the camera. <clears throat> just put down the nominees of indie movies. Just leave it at that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay, well, oh, wait, no. Go ahead. Uh, there was a movie, now that I can nominate it, now that I've talked about it. I can't remember the name, so I'm just going to call it that one movie about different dimensions. Interstellar. Uh, no, it was. It wasn't really shaky cam, though. It no, it wasn't that. It was it wasn't in theaters. I watched it on Amazon. Do you know who it was? <laughs> it was like, uh, no. Was I just picked a random movie, watched it, and it was complete crap. And it did have shaky cam. <laughs> so, a random movie for a night. Yeah, all right, random movie. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, well, how that'll work, gonna work is if that if that one wins the nomination, if that nomination wins, we'll just throw a dart at like a wall of movies, just give it to that movie. Mhm. Mm Whatever it is. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We're professionals here. We we are very professional. Most definitely. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm we can't yeah. prepare. For yep. yep. Especially with that nomination, random movie on Amazon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> What's the next category, Nicole? Okay, I'm hyped for it already. I know you are, because you suggested it. <laughs> Best black man. Best black man. Morgan Freeman. Best black man. <laughs> and I have the perfect nomination for this. Morgan <laughs> Freeman? My, my I know. will have racism in every podcast. Are, are you going to nominate Ryan? Because I think he deserves a nomination. <laughs> I was going to nominate Ryan, but I came up with something. Someone else. I didn't know that was a real nomination. <laughs> I humbly accept this honor on behalf of the Academy. <laughs> um, Morgan Freeman? Hmm? Yeah. That's just not fair. That, that's true. Uh, what about Will Smith? Mm, that's also not mm, fair. He lost a lot of points because of his son, though. <laughs> yeah, his son, it, it, it's his fault, though. I mean, yes, he had a son. Partly his fault. And he I mean, tried to force him into acting. Yeah, yep. but I think he's kind of getting away from that, though. No, Good. the fact that he had his son was the, was his problem. <laughs> so my nomination for this is Titus O'Neil. Oh God, you are a horrible <laughs> person. For not only screwing up his elimination from the Rumble to, if it went off to become eliminated in like a second, but also because recently he has gotten back together with his former tag team partner, Darren Young, and the primetime players are back, Ryan. Yeah, no, I heard about that. <laughs> did you? Yeah, I did. Uh, you, you're so excited. I was trying to forget about it, but... <laughs> you're so excited, Ryan, I can feel it. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. <laughs> oh, why am I still playing half <laughs> Hey, ever. Okay, best black man for 2004. Let's see. 2004? 2004. Wow. Ten, 10 years ago, right? Hey, like, calm down. For 2004, I'm still nominating Morgan Freeman, by the way. You can't stop <laughs> Everybody calm down. I missed one number. It's all good. A number that, that's that made it. Number. <laughs> I missed a single number. It has been rectified. Calm down. Uh, okay, a single number that made you off by 10 years. A single digit. <laughs> yes, Max. Well done. That's how numbers work. Mm -hmm. I, so I anyway, look at the name real quick, so that way I know who I'm nominating here. Uh, my uh, for uh, best black man, I'm nominating. I'm nominating Samuel Jackson. Yep. That's not a bad pick, honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's just the best for every year, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm actually. Oh, I should change that. Nah, I'm not gonna. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with... Uh, shit, where, why is the name of the first one on here? Uh, ah, yes. Anthony Mackie, the guy who played Sam Wilson, the Falcon from uh, Captain America. Ooh, that was my second pick. Well done. Yep, I, I, hey, I'm not going to steer you wrong, man. I'm going to go with that one. Oh, that's good. That's real, real good. I nominate Ganondorf. <laughs> yeah. That was my second pick. Right. You can't go wrong with Ganondorf. You can't go wrong with Ganondorf. All right, Ganondorf. All right so just go, to go over these nominations, we have Morgan Freeman, Ganondorf, Titus O'Neil, Samuel L. Jackson, Ryan, and I couldn't catch the name, but I have Falcon from Captain America. That's good. Anthony Mackie. I'm sure I will look up his name soon. Eventually. Mm hmm. Yep. You've got a real good chance of winning there, Ryan. Yeah, I mean, I, you got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have my vote. Wait, wait is, Gan is Ganondorf still on that list or not? I didn't, I didn't catch that. Yeah, oh, yes, Ganondorf is on the list. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, so I think our next list, or next one, is the most non confirmed thing. Half a three? Oh, guys, I'm out. <laughs> Frog Fractions 2. Frog Fractions 2. I'm out. Okay, any three from Valve. Can I say that or just have to be a specific thing? Fallout 4? Oh, that's a good one. Especially mm. with all the, like, the lies out of this year. Yeah. No, like I'm Shadows of Boston and all the, all the weird ones that aren't actually a thing that kept getting... Like, people kept typing. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with uh, Last Guardian on this one. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no. Pokemon oh, next time. Never next coming out. Second. Brian, you're not allowed to speak. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. I mean, if you're unconfirming something, you have to say I'm unconfirming this. First. Well, this is quite literally unconfirmed. <laughs> okay. I it. Congratulations, you can speak. Hooray! I feel like this category is Ryan's kryptonite, he just can't do it. <laughs> I'm still going for half life. Alright. Ryan, what was your what was your nominee? Pokemon and Tekken. Pokemon Tekken. Oh Pokken? Pokken. Pokemon X Tekken. However the hell we're saying it. <laughs> like one person left on the screen, by the way. Who's actually No, that's the Twitch bug because there are at least seven people that I oh, I had to re I I had to re <clears throat> I'll do that too because I've been stuck on the screen for a while now. Yeah. Stream's going nuts. <laughs> Twitch does this. It's going nuts. I just fixed that that it exists. <laughs> yup. Okay, I, uh, I suck at Half Life 2. I'm about to move So, so Nicole, we're all the nominations again. I heard Half Life. I heard. Uh... We have Half Life 3, Fallout 4, Pokemon Tekken. Um, Frog Fractions 2. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm voting for Frog Fractions. Frog <laughs> Fractions 2. Yeah. At this point. Might, might have to. Might have to. Yeah. Here's the thing about Frog Fractions, right? Because that game is so bizarre, and you can never predict what's going to happen with it, the developer, for he, when he's going to release Frog Fractions 2, it's not going to be called Frog Fractions 2. It's going to be some other random entertainment game, and he's not going to tell anyone. <laughs> he's just going to wait till people stumble across it naturally. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I can't wait. Um, what if Half-Life 3 has been on Steam for like years? Just nobody's looked up Half-Life 3 on Steam. There's no, there's no Half-Life 3. I can guarantee it. The internet would go nuts. Well, yeah, it's not confirmed. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay, let me have some hope, okay? No, 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 no. no. Abandon no. hope. You, no. You, you shall receive none of the hope. <laughs> yeah. Abandon all hope, ye who enter this podcast. <laughs> rip, rip. I saw the chance I took it. <laughs> and right, what's our next category? I think our next category, so and I'm not sure how we're going to do this one, uh, best controversial celebrity story. What about the one that we just spoke about for Fifty Shades of Grey? That is a potential nominee if you want to use it. All right, Max. Max, I just want to point out 
that Catch you were the. You were, um, I just want to point out that you were so adamant that we not talk about Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Yet you were the very next one who brought up Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, because I don't really care about. I don't care about movies as much as other people do. So therefore, that's the only controversial thing that I've heard of all of you. I have a suggestion for a nomination. So. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the uh, Andrew Garfield calls out Sony for being crap. Oh yeah, that was a good one. That oh, thing. Yeah. Sony is crap. Well, they are, mm-hmm. but now. I, oh, I oh, easy. No, no, no. I got it. I got. It. I got it. The interview. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we might as well just give it that one right now. <laughs> Should we just give Sony the awards and see if they can tell their stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just give it to Sony. Yeah. <laughs> So I've got Fifty Shades of Grey, Andrew Garfield, Calls Out Sony, The Interview, and Sony. Just <laughs> Sony. <laughs> can I vote for Sony? Sony in can, I just, can I just put my vote right now because I'm voting Sony? Because they had, because I do know that they had so much crap happen to them. And yeah, they are crap. This was not a good year to be Sony, I'll tell you that much. No. Nope. Maybe. It's fine. 2015 will be good for them because they handed over Spider-Man to someone that could actually fucking use it. That's <laughs> true. Here, here's the one that they do anything with the previous Spider-Man movies for the future movies. It's referencing the uh, Tobey Maguire ones and not the Andrew Garfield ones. Ooh, if, that'd be terrible. If, if that. any of them. That'd be that'd terrible. Be terrible. Yeah. I think I thought they were just gonna do a reboot, reboot, and have them be back in high school. Well, I'm not saying like that they can't do a reboot. Like if they're gonna reference any of the older ones, that be, those would be the ones I'd stick with. Yeah, it makes me really sad because I like the cast uh, of these new ones: Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone. Um, I really like uh, Dennis Andy Leary. Spider-Man. I really liked it. I, I really appreciated the cast, but the story was just, they, they just kept dwarfing it up. I think he's a terrible Peter Parker, but he's an amazing Spider-Man. Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, God. Pun not intended. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I noticed it immediately afterwards. We just connected Merz and his Garfield and some other person. Max, I cannot hear you. In the slightest. I, I didn't understand a single word of that. All I heard were mumbles. Oh my god, I threw my chaos card away. Okay, can you guys hear me now? That's yeah. better. Barely. Okay, chat. Like I said, improvisions. Impro- uh, okay. And yeah, now he's dying. <laughs> now he's dead. I thought I'd be the one with the mic troubles today. He's dead again. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Rip. Rip. Okay, I think I'm... Is that better? Somewhat. Very... Not really. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look, I'm, us- I'm using a webcam. As am I. Yeah, yeah but I it's, talk about it. <laughs> it's connected to my shirt. Well, wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Excuse me. I, the webcam is actually just connected to my shirt. I found a way to connect it to my shirt. So right now it's like. I'm using it as like a close-up mic. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Angel. Hello. Oh, you're live. Hello. I exist. You exist. Okay, is that better? That's good. A little bit, yeah. Okay, I'm just not going to move. <laughs> so, what were you saying before all this? Um, I was making a joke that's. Really fine. There's no point in saying it. Oh. Wait a fault, Max. I mean, gave up on it. Like, eh, fuck Why you don't fuck it? Done. No purpose. I, I can't no say it again, but there's no point in saying it again. Uh, Aaron, what's, what's our next category? I believe our next category is the best Raz performance. You mean what? So for those who aren't aware of what that is, there's there's the Raz Awards, which are pretty much given to bad actors or bad acting throughout the years. It's like the opposite of the Oscars. So the concept behind this nomination here would be what what uh, performance came out this year that looked like it was intentionally made for that award there. Uh, anything by Nicholas Cage. 
<laughs> like anything. Was there actually any movie that came out by then with Nicolas Cage in it this year? If, not this year. Not if Nicolas Cage did not make any movies this year, let's just say Face Off. Hey, 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 <clears throat> fucking my nostalgia, the nostalgia factor, because I grew up on watching that shit. It was hilarious. I will join Ryan in defense of Face Off. <laughs> we will face off for Face Off. We will face off for Face Off, and I will Fine, take Face face off in the process. <laughs> too much Face Off. That, that's bad, Ryan. It's a little too much Face Off. You, you gotta turn it down a bit. Uh, I don't need to stop this nonsense. <laughs> All right, well, my uh, my nomination, even though it wasn't in 2014, uh, it has to go in there. Um, <clears throat> Jupiter Ascending? For, for which actor in there? Are you, uh, are the, you movie? Sure the movie? The movie as a whole. Uh, the movie? <laughs> the movie in its entirety? <laughs> oh, my God. I was so disappointed. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over Explain how disappointed I was. I feel like I'm just gonna give this one to Birdemic because I think it deserves to be nominated in this one more than anything else. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what, what happened to 2014? This is so off the rails, I can't handle it. <laughs> well, no, I mean, 2014 was a good year for movies, really, so I can't, I can't nominate it for Razzie. If we're just gonna reference every, any movie, even if it's not 2014, I'm just going to mention Man of the Hands of Fate. No, it's just a, no mine it was one year old. Oh, you, you can How play, you can play about us face? not having the right dates for movies, and here you are bringing up Face Off. Yeah. <laughs> Man of the Hands of Fate. That's because Nicholas, Nicholas Cage transcends time. That's why I brought up Face Off. <laughs> Oh wait, I actually have a real nomination this time. I have a real one. Can't, can't, can't hold you have a real one this time? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Transcendence. Oh really? Never. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. What is this? That was the Johnny Depp joins the Matrix, pretty much. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Alright. Yeah. yeah, pretty much what happens is Johnny Depp gets killed and his brain's put in a computer, and then he lives on the computer as like a super AI, and it's really not great. All right. That, that sounds, sounds really hot. <laughs> like, who wrote it? I mean, I don't remember. I'll have to look that one up. But it's it, it was just a bizarre story that just kind of like fell apart near the end. What, what were they thinking there? That sounds horrible, actually. Well, his wife. Uh, I mean, that, I mean, that was his original. That was his like. His dream to to one day have uh, have mankind evolve to that state, but then uh, what you call it? Some uh, pro naturalist radicals actually like attacked like his conference, and he was dying. So in a rush to save the man he loved, her like she actually figured out a way to put his mind in the computer. But then everybody else was like, wait, actually, that's probably really not a great idea. We should probably not do that. Oh, God. And then, so, then shenanigans ensued. So basically, here's what, here's what I get from it. It's basically the whole thing with GLaDOS, but the people were actually aware that it was a bad idea. Did artificial intelligence spiral out of control? Yes. That is based on actual nonsense. It's yep. called the singularity. It's a real thing. And I died because I was talking. God damn it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a fun movie just to watch and, like, question shit. I mean, it made me think. It was not super great, but it did make me think, which I appreciate. Hey, Joe, you're trying to find Yes. Okay, Rebirth Thor. Yes, Rebirth. Um, are we not going to talk about Power Rangers at all? I was waiting for, uh, I was waiting for something. Because I, I just realized we entered the Oscars thing, which I assumed was the big segment for the night where we were going to end, but then I remember, we haven't mentioned fucking Power Rangers. Plus the family yeah. film, right? I mean, there's no, nothing big beyond that. Uh, 
except that it was put out there to gauge interest to see if they want to make a full-length movie. And the interest is there. It's real. People are hyped. I, I, I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack for this, but I actually enjoyed that little, that little uh, 15 minute 15 minute throwback on Memory Lane. It was terrible. I loved it. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I can sum up my feelings about it. It was amazing. Recommend it to no one who grew up in the 90s. Who, who didn't grow up in the 90s, rather. <laughs> Perhaps, oh my God! Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps it's so cloaked in nostalgia and just '90s feeling that I just I I, I loved watching it. And Katie Sackhoff as the Pink Ranger was just like a dream come true for me. So always trust in Starbuck. Yeah, always. Yep, always. Uh, I lost it at its morphing time. Like I, I just. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. That super buff freaking Black Ranger just beating the hell out of out of everybody. Oh, they referenced the fact that the Blue Ranger is gay. I thought that was interesting. Yep. A lot of homages. It's pretty good. Yep. That was good. I find it hilarious that people are like, "Wow, this is what Power Rangers should have been." You know, the kids having actual consequences. No, 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 no. But I mean, like, this is what they should do because the kids should have consequences to the fact that they were child soldiers. And, they should have reacted realistically, and there should have been repercussions. And I'm like, did no one, did no one watch Evangelion? <laughs> that's exactly what Evangelion is. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not saying that no, probably. Would you say consequences? I'm assuming you're not talking about like PTSD or some crap like that. No, I'm, I'm assuming... totally talking about PTSD. Uh, yeah. These are child soldiers fighting, fighting in an intergalactic war that has nothing to do with them. They should have PTSD. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Never mind. <laughs> you actually... It's it's real. You actually, this topic fits uh. into our next category, though. Yeah, it uh-huh. does. Uh, the next category is Best Trailer. Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to... I'm going to get the obvious one out there right now. Mm-hmm. Avengers Age of Ultron. Just going to throw Ooh, it in there. Good call. I'm going to top you. I'm going to top you. I think the best trailer this year was for Avengers 3 in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. That whole movie is a trailer for, uh, for Avengers 3. Really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like what you did there. <laughs> okay, can, so... we include, can we include okay. video games? Yeah, why not? Because I kind of want to mention PT, Silent Hills. Oh, yeah. That was, that was a really good <laughs> interactive, trailer. Interactive trailer. That was pretty awesome. Um... <laughs> Now, I'm going to say my trailer, and I have no idea how you guys feel about the trailer. But, uh, and I don't think it actually... Is it considered... Uh, okay, I'm just going to say it. The, uh, Deadpool. Uh, test footage. That ended up basically becoming their... Trailer. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. The, the I, Deadpool trailer. Yeah. I liked it. Was that 2014 though? Yep. Um. Yeah. Like okay. I think it was like beginning of it. But... I mean, it came out like right around the same time as I think San Diego Comic Con. I might be th- thinking of something else, son. Never mind. My vote is for Finding a Bind of Isaac Rebirth. <laughs> is that trailer? Oh, God, that trailer's awful. <laughs> it's so horrifying. Are you, are you just worried for that because that's what we're watching right now? Well, no. That that trailer is looking terrifying. I'll have to look it up later and give it a shot, see what it looks like. Mm. It's, it's it's pretty, pretty spooky. spooky. It's, spooky for me. it's live action. It's really horrifying. <laughs> well, half of it's live action, the other half is game footage, but the live action is just spooky. Wait a second. I didn't see the trailer for Finding the Isaac. Can somebody you need to go on Steam, Steam and watch that later? It's really creepy. Okay, right. I would like to see that. Go on Steam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go on, go on the purchase page for Binding of Isaac. Buy Binding of Isaac and then watch the trailer. Yep. No. <laughs> but so Binding of Isaac. I will skip step two, but I will watch the trailer. I, so, I'll put it in the for uh, trailers then? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I think we're done with trailers. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think we have one more category to go. Uh, oh, no, we have two. We have two. Oh, 
You oh, you're, yeah. you're, Damn it, you're Nicole. Why are you always throwing yeah. everything? Aaron's the one lying. No, no, yours is, yours is in a different order. That's why I thought we already did this one. Mm. Okay, so what's the next one you have on your list, then? Next, next one I have is Best Game. Best Game, okay. Cool. Because you, co I think you combined Best Game and Best Picture. Or something like that. No, I just, something. Seriously? I just put Best Game after Best Picture. Oh. Well, that was the uh, Banner 2. Banner 2. Oh, God. Wait, what? Was it 2014? Yep. Yeah. I thought that was 2013. Nope. Or I'm thinking Wonderful 101. Oh. Yeah, you're thinking Wonderful 101. Well, okay. Bayo's not even fair, okay? Just don't, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> it just kills everything. Uh, Smash 4. Uh, Smash 4 is awesome. A very admirable pick. Mm -hmm. My nomination is Dragon Age Inquisition. Ooh, nice. Ooh, you didn't go for Shadows of Mordor. Interesting. Dragon Age, man. This <laughs> is fucking Dragon yeah. Age. Yeah. Um, Some girl in my humanities class brought up Dragon Age, which I thought was awesome. When we were talking about the hero's journey and how the, the, the myth is pretty common in, in all forms of media. And this girl in the back is just like, well, there's a game that's called Dragon Age that's very similar to this and follows the hero cycle. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, and my dad asked her out like, right afterwards. Like, oh, one more. So, am, am I? This is the same girl who like yelled yes when I freaking mentioned... Um, uh, Miyazaki films as following the hero's journey. Because <laughs> I was talking about uh, Spirited Away. Nice. That girl wins that life. I was going to throw it out there. Do it. <laughs> um, I'm going to nominate Dark Souls. <laughs> you talking Dark Souls 2, right? Mm. What? That's you talking Dark Souls 2, right? Um, yeah, Dark Souls 2. Okay. That came out in 24. I I'm mean... looking. I'm looking at that right now. Yeah, I know. I know. I just want to make sure you're talking about the second one. Or the first one. The first one. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not talking about the first one. I have a stupid amount of hours in Dark Souls 1, and I don't think Dark Souls 2 was that great. <laughs> I liked it. It was okay. I think it's good for um, people who don't play, who've never played the first one. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's definitely worse than Dark Souls and Demon Souls. I mean, it was either that or me say Hearthstone. So, I mean, mm, mm. Hearthstone's pretty good. I like Hearthstone. Yeah, but I don't think it, I don't think anybody even likes Hearthstone. Does anybody? It doesn't matter. Hearthstone's like nominate it. Do it. I, I, <laughs> I nominate it. Fine, fine. Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Right. Card game. Woo. Woo. You don't understand. You're in a room with a bunch of magic nerds, all right? <laughs> you can appreciate a good card game. Mm -hmm. yep, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go Yu-Gi-Oh, but I can agree. <laughs> uh, so this is one of the categories up then, right, Nicole? Yep. Uh, wait, there was no mention of Binding of Isaac Rebirth, by the way. Mm. It's like a fucking travesty. <laughs> I fucking died. <laughs> Which throw it out there? Yeah, I'll throw it out there. Okay. Right. It's pretty hype. Mm -hmm. And the last category is Best Fisticuffs. Oh. Smash? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Well that, that was my nomination. Um, I'm gonna I mean, go ahead and pre-nominate every every category for next year. Uh, Monster Hunter Four. Monster yep. Hunter Four. Yep. Monster Hunter Four. Yep. Bloodborne. Monster Hunter Four. <laughs> and yeah. You can't say until you played Bloodborne. That's that's the thing. I don't need to play Bloodborne to know it's gonna be good. It's, 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 it so actually, actually, unlike Dark Souls 2, it actually has Miyazaki working on it. I trust that man. It's gonna be good. Why did I pick up Bob's brain? You're dumb. I'm a dead man. So, what was this category again? I got lost. I'm talking about monster hunters, as I'm apt to do. <laughs> so, so, the category is best fisticuffs. It pretty much the, the best fighting editor either in game or in a movie or whatever. Oh, you know what? Best Fisticuffs for 2015 is probably going to end up being Street Fighter. Because that's going to be a thing. I don't know. Have you seen, uh, have you seen Kingsman? Mm. Oh, right. you keep, you keep hey, that. he brought up 2015, so that's where I was going with it. That's right. Movies exist. Um, Power Rangers? Movies do exist. Power Rangers? Power Rangers. 
Power Rangers. Oh, I'm putting down Power Rangers. They have yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. Best fisticuffs. Why am I even thinking about it? Uh, Captain America, Winter Soldier. I was thinking the exact Man, same thing. Like that. Captain America just throwing the shit out of everybody he comes across. Um, yes. Just that opening I'm always the down for the shit like five dudes. I haven't watched Captain America Winter Soldier yet, and I feel really bad for it. You should. But, it's got really good reviews. Well, here's the thing, right? I've been waiting for it to come on Amazon, but you can only buy it for like 30 bucks. Screw that. It's not on Amazon Prime? No, it's not. Mm. That's fine. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, um... I'm just going to nominate Big Hero 6 because I actually love that movie. Oh, yeah, that was real yeah, yeah. good. That was real good. There was some good fisticuffs. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Great fisticuffs. <clears throat> I think an honorable mention should go out to uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Oh, I'm going to see that. Because uh, it's coming to Netflix. Yeah. And I... Dragon Fisticuffs are real. Uh, so we should, we should check that out. Uh, so oh, I'm sorry. That. I, I, I love that first. Hmm. Uh, since you already put Smash Bros, I'm going to put this one in. Uh, Hyrule Warriors. Ooh, yeah. Oh, nice. Good call. Very good call. Hyrule Warriors is fucking awesome. <clears throat> Good times. Though I don't think they really counts because it's more like sword to cuffs, not fist to cuffs, but whatever. It's still it's fist to cuffs. I mean, still fist to cuffs. I mean, the sword is just an extension of your hand. <laughs> yeah. No. A sword, is, a sword should be an ex- the extension of your soul, Max. <laughs> Get on my level. A, a tail of souls and sword yeah. eternally retold, am I right? <laughs> That's too spooky for me. Got real serious for a second. Sorry. Right. Got super serial, Ryan. <laughs> Call me shit down. This item. Right. Sword fighting is my thing. <laughs> Could have fooled me. <laughs> it's not like every character you ever made is a sword fighting mage. <laughs> it's not every character. <laughs> it's every character, Ryan. It's every not every single character. It's every single every one. Single yes, it is. Yes, it is. Quellic. Don't. Had a gun and not a sword. So, ah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And Al, uh-huh. for him, only wielded a sword one time. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. ah. Mm-hmm. One more than that. Of course, scary. <laughs> right? It's so good. So, then Nicole, would you say that's not a single that's character? Do I know? Those are all the categories, though? Yep. Nice. Oh. So, then. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. Nice. Podcast. Radical. Mm-hmm. Does anyone have anything else to bring up? Uh, talk about Monster Hunter some more. <laughs> I should... We can always talk about Monster Hunter some more. If you're going to talk about Monster Hunter, I'm just going to sign up yeah, and let you game. guys have at it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you guys are going to talk about Monster Hunter, I'm going to go like get a snack or something. I'll be back. <laughs> Well, are we ending because I did tell some people I would talk to them around 9.30 or so? No, I hear you. I appreciate going too, so... Alright, let's go ahead and sign off on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us for another exciting podcast. Definitely check out the blog when we put up the link for the uh, voting so you can vote for the nominees for best whatever categories we had. And the address address is evacstation.blogspot.com Yep. And we'll have links in the description below for that, the Twitters, the Tumblr, all that stuff. It'll be fun. Yep. YouTube.com slash evacstation. Facebook.com slash evacstation. Twitter.com slash e underscore vacstation. We have our Steam community, evacstation at gmail.com. You can send your, your fan mail, your hate mail. Definitely send the hate mail. We, 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 we want all of it. Uh-huh. We'll forward it straight to Ryan. Yep. And, uh, get a diary, write down for your great, 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 great grandchildren that there will eventually be a Half-Life 1 game on. <laughs> I don't think so. Why are you getting the people hyped for that? Don't get them hyped. It's never gonna happen. Well, it's never gonna happen. Lower their expectations. Okay. Accept that it will never happen. <laughs> See, that's your last Earth. Enter the void. Release your earthly tethers. <laughs> Enter the void. Like... Access becomes a here. My idea, 
My magical idea is just record a whole bunch of game on, upload them, and somebody in a couple thousand years will eventually will see that a new video was uploaded on a really old website that hasn't been used for years. <laughs> you need better internet, dude. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, I live in the middle of nowhere. Com at my dad's, Comcast looks good, okay? Because, at least with Comcast internet, I can upload a video overnight. It's I feel bad for you. Get some better upload speeds. Because you probably have decent download speeds, just terrible upload. No, it's pretty bad to download, dude. Really? It's horrible. It, it took me four days to download the two. What? <laughs> <laughs> if we could all have a moment of silence for Max's internet. <laughs> Alright, so is that everything? Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah. Everybody be sure to check out the YouTube page for my special project that will be going up soon. Uh, me and Aaron, me and Aaron playing an awesome, awesome game. Oh boy. Oh yeah, yeah I wanted to ask... More than I wanted to ask... Oh, crap. Um... What were you saying? Sorry, I wanted to ask if anybody wanted to be on a game on or something. Because I'm bored playing by myself. Video games. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I don't, I don't even have, have much free time outside of Monster Hunter. Yeah. Do you want to play some Monster Hunter next? <laughs> play some Monster Hunter. Crap. Oh. <laughs> that was the best. That was the best thing ever. Yeah, yeah one of these days, days, he's just gonna, just gonna break, break and be like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna get Monster Hunter, see what all the see what all the hype's. No, I, I just broke. Tomorrow, going out, getting Monster Hunter. Yes. yes. We have converted yeah, him. We got another one. Now, type. now, don't get me wrong, I may I never play with you guys because I told my friends that I'd play Dota 2, Dota 2 with them right, right now. now. And my I'm friend Dota, Dota 2 right now. Right now. Hmm. <laughs> so... Monster Hunter. Well, he can't play Monster Hunter now. It'll take him seven years to download it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, that's true. <laughs> well, Max, we'll see you in seven years. Yeah. Rip yeah, and then, and then, and then, and then I'm going to get into Skype, I'm going to be like, guys, it's finally done, it's finally downloaded. Monster Hunter 6 is out, Max. Monster Hunter is... We're playing SAO right now. No. It's great. Oh, man. You know what? This is how I know I've been playing this game too long, because I'm, I'm, I went to the Field Museum today, and I'm standing there amongst, like, Tyrannosaurus Rexes and all of these giant dinosaurs, and I'm sitting there like... Oh, so this is how big a tetsacabra is. Hmm. <laughs> That's fucking scary. That's awesome. Curse you people. And with so that, that's to an amazing. Oh yeah, let's sign off. And with that, we, we end to this podcast. And with that, the podcast is done. Bye everyone. Bye. 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 So yeah, on to more Monster Hunter. There's a fucking monster.